Let's look at configuring a Cisco router on a stick. So what is a Cisco router on a stick? Well, switches, strictly speaking, are layer two devices. They provide VLANs, they provide um, switching capabilities, but they do not provide routing capabilities. Now, some switches have been upgraded to allow routing devices. Those are called layer three switches, and they do routing as well. But assuming you have a layer two switch, which tends to be cheaper than a layer three switch, you still have to have a router for your default gateway in order to be able to get out. And that's fine. You just plug a router in and you're good to go. However, there are situations where you want to have more than just one VLAN on the switch, but you only want to waste or use one interface on the router and one interface on the switch for communication. So you configure the switch with a trunking port, and then you have that line from the switch to the router be a trunking line, and then the router takes that trunking port and configures sub-interfaces and provides all of the default gateways to get out. So let's take a look at our switch. We have a switch that has been pre-configured already. Oops. Let's see, get into a privilege mode, and show run. We can see that we have, it's configured, for VLANs 10 and 20. We can see that fast there 01 is our trunking port. You can see that VLAN 10 is assigned to a bunch of interfaces right here. And 20 you can see assigned to a bunch. And you can see that these VLANs even have addresses. So in VLAN 10, we have the 254. In VLAN 20, we have the 254 also, but therefore the 0 and the 1. So 1 I do 168, 0, 254, and 1 I do 168, 1, 254. If I type in show VLAN, I can see the division, and I can see that. Um, my trunking port is not listed as being assigned to a specific interface, but is inside is in fact assigned to um, fast Ethernet 01. All right, now are we connected to another router or device? So we can show CDP neighbors, and we can see that we are connected to a router. Our local fast Ethernet 01 is connected to the fast ethernet 00 on the router. And 01 is configured as a trunking port, so we are pretty much ready to go. The next step is to connect to the router. So let me do that real quick. All right, I am now connected to the Cisco router. So I press Enter. I go into privilege mode and I show my running configuration. I can see that on my fast Ethernet 00, I already have an IP address, and this could be a problem. If I want to configure the router on a stick, I need to, well, change the things. The other issue I have is that my fast Ethernet 01 is overlapping with the IP address range that was being assigned on the switch. So I really want to clear out this stuff. So I go into my configure terminal and I go into FA0 slash zero and I type in no IP address. And I go into FA0 slash one and I type no IP address. And now I type my show run, my rank configuration, and I can see I have no IP addresses assigned, which is a good thing. All right, now I want to go in and configure these devices. So if I type in show the CDP neighbor, neighbor, I can see that my Zero, 00 interface is connected to the zero 01 interface on the switch. So I go in to my 
zero, zero interface, and I want to configure it. Now, if I'm going to be configuring the router on a stick configuration, I do not want to assign an IP address to my zero, zero interface, but I do want to make sure it has a no shutdown. It already doesn't have one, but I just want to make sure you put it in there because if you shut down this interface, sub-interfaces won't work. All right, and then I go into a sub-interfaces. So how do I do that? Well, I do int fa0 slash 0 dot, and then the VLAN number, which is 10. This was the accounting VLAN on the switch. So I could name it if I want. I could do description accounting VLAN. I could assign an IP address. So it was a address 192.168.0.1 because I'll have the dot one be the default gateway and that's what I'm assigning. 255.255.255.0. Oh yeah, I also need to set the encapsulation thing there. So I do uh, encapsulation dot one q ten until it is VLAN ten, and then I give the IP address. I do make sure there's a no shutdown because you don't really want to shut down happening. And then we have this interface all configured. Now under the next interface, so it's a int fa0 slash 0 dot 20, which is the management VLAN. So I'll do a description, manage and VLAN. I also want to set my encapsulation, encapsulation dot 1q and 20. This is 20. All right. I also want to assign an IP address. So this one was the 192.168.0, actually 192.168.1.0 slash 24 network. So I'll assign the first IP address there, which is 192.168.1.1.255.255.255.0. I'll make sure this is not shut down. And then I am done. And this is all I need to do in order to configure these interfaces so that they all configured correctly. So now I show this running configuration. You can see I have all the information right here for this interface. 00 0.10 and 00 0.20 and they're both the dot one. So now any devices that are connected to the switch would need to be configured with the correct default gateway for that network so they can get out. Obviously, in order to be able to do anything um, getting outside, I would need to configure another interface to get out, but that could be done at a later time. And this is how you configure the router on a stick. So now Let's go and switch over to the switch and we'll verify to make sure that it works. All right, we're back at the switch and I go into <clears throat> my privilege mode. I type in my show run. I can see my interfaces right here. I can see all this stuff. I have IP addresses already assigned to the VLANs. So now I try ping 192.168.0.254. So ping my own interface IP address first, and that pings just fine. Now I try pinging my default gateway, and it pings correctly. So we know that things are working correctly for the switch. The next big step would be to connect a device in there, um, a computer, and make sure the computer can ping through, and then you'll know that things are working. And that's how you configure the Cisco router on a stick.